Hello and welcome to week 13! And this is about the weakest 13th you could get. We've got the Mazda, the Mazda MX-5 at USA International. The Oval! Yes, we are on the Oval in the MX-5 uh, as we do some week 13 action. Of course, week 13 all about, you know, m getting the new build in. Uh, doing some unofficial racing, and uh, that is what we have here today. And uh, should be interesting. I think it should be fun. I really like the Mazda. I really like the Mazda MX-5. Um, even if I don't record it a lot, I do a whole lot of uh, races just for fun, and you know, almost like warm-up races for more races I'll do later in the day is kind of how I use it a lot of the time. Just doing rookie Mazdas and stuff. And I really like driving this thing. And so let's combine it with the other thing I like, which is oval racing. What could go wrong? <laughs> um, I was, you know, having a good time. Trying to uh, learn how to be fast with this thing. And uh, we're going to go out and do some qualifying. Tracks clear. Push now, push. We have two laps to get the job done, mate. it is often the case in on road in this car, and seems to be the case here as well, that it gets faster as you get some laps in, and the tires green, green, green. kind of get up to temp. Okay, here comes your first time lap. So it'll be interesting to see just how fast or not fast we can be here. <laughs> it definitely doesn't like the turn right away, that's for sure. I got used to uh, the long run I did earlier. I don't know what to do here. Um, and so, it's feeling extra tight right now. One more lap. I'm going to go ahead and try again to get a run on the next lap here. Peter, you've just done a 25.45. Just try to get as much as we can, I guess. Seems situational whether you want to shift into second or not. That's what I've kind of learned. Fastest lap for Hicks. What is this going to get us? 24-4. Four. Four. It's the pole right now. Okay. We're a tenth up on second, but probably some guys left to go. I imagine a lot of guys are going to be doing this number, where you're like, going real slow on the out lap. Trying to get these tires up to temp, because I can guarantee you that's going to make it faster. Not only the tires up to temp, but getting the weight down. Because look at that, 141 estimated laps in this thing. I bet people are, are out here doing this. Probably burning off as much fuel as possible, and at the last second they're going to come up with a fast lap. But, uh, I don't care that much <laughs> for this unofficial race. I wouldn't even do it if it was official, to be honest. I'm not too big on the, the queso when it comes to doing uh, <laughs> this, you know, qualifying and all that. There's one of those late arrivers. Just edges me out. You know, I don't I don't know. Maybe he didn't do any of that. I don't want to accuse people without knowing for sure, but I can, I can almost guarantee you that would help you be faster if you did do all that stuff. Get the tires up to temp and all that. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you, I guess. Tires are warmed up a little bit. Fuel is uh, out of the car. You know, burned off a little bit. So we'll get another run of the line if we have time. See if uh, we even get done with this lap. But you can see this is my all-time optimal lap. On the bar up there, I'm already like much closer to that than I was for the actual qualifying. So watch this. We're going to get 24... 24.29. So that's almost two tenths faster than <laughs> the, the current poll. It's uh, pretty amazing how much faster you can end up being. So if, if, you, if you care that much to put the time into it, that's uh, a way to get pole, I guess. Still have to hit your marks, but that is a thing. Obviously, we can't take out any fuel. 
And uh, there's no other setups. Sometimes with Mazda MX-5 you'll get like a uh, basic and then advanced setup and not just one setup in here for this. And it's looking like we're going to start P2. We've got the 77 which just decided to leave after getting the pole. Which is weird. Weird flex, but okay, I guess. <laughs> oh no, he's back. Probably just had a crash. So he's going to be uh, back in it. Coming in here from Australia. It's, it's always kind of interesting when you get a combo like this because you know there's going to be road racers that don't do oval very often coming in, doing some oval racing. And then you've got uh, oval racers who see an oval and they're coming on in and they're driving a car they don't drive very often. If you've got the people that prefer to specialize in one thing. So, you see new names, you see some interesting driving sometimes. <laughs> But it's all fun here, and this is all unofficial anyway. So we're going to start off from our P2 starting position and just have some fun, hopefully. Probably going to have to dodge some crashes. I've seen some messy racing, as unofficial can be. I hope guys take it seriously, because even though it's a goofy combo, you know, you want to have fun, you want to have a good race. And it's much easier to do that when people are taking it seriously and not just smashing on the back of everybody. The estimated strength of field is 2,225. Something to take note, that's often not accurate, that new uh, strength of field call. I've noticed with Race Lab, it doesn't always match. So, uh, cool new feature, but just take it with a grain of salt because I just did the uh, Be Open race at Kansas and it was off by almost a, like 500 I rating. Or, you know strike the field or whatever I guess um, that one was pretty close 2.1k is what race lab says and it's usually accurate on race lab you could hear people probably burning off their fuel so I guess we'll do that a little bit too I really don't want to though never mind I really don't care that much we'll set up fast repair though in case we need it yeah go ahead and blow them up y'all blow them up Indestructible. So the 77 is back. I'm happy till it's at 7,000 RPM. Starting uh, in our favorite starting position, P2. Stay Maybe the 77 isn't back. <laughs> What's he doing back there? <laughs> okay, there we go. There he is. This is weird doing a rolling start in this car. I don't think I've ever done a rolling start in the Mazda. Always oh, standing starts in the normal races. I guess we're going to try to uh, use the clutch a little bit because this thing really doesn't like to go. So we'll see if that can give us a launch, better launch. Hopefully I don't mess that up. I kind of want to try it, though. What better place to try things than in an unofficial race, I guess. Let me get the brakes up to temp. Seventy-seven is... all up on the pace car. Hopefully we just get some fun racing in and don't die immediately. That's all kind of all I really want from this. Just wanted to try the Mazda in a different format, since I like this car. All right, get a good jump. Good enough. Inside. Shift it in a second. Get behind him. All right. Obviously, you want to be on the inside. That's probably not too surprising. There's my eight wide right. Wonder how much uh, dirty air or draft is going to be a factor. I didn't even really think about that, but pretty big draft in the Mazda, notably. I 
There is carnage already. We see remnants of a Mazda on the back stretch. Fortunate for whoever that was. See if we can get to the inside of this guy at any point. The leader has just done a 24.49. The guy behind has just done a 24.45. Utilizing second gear right now to keep it low, because I'm trying to get a, a nose on him if I can. He is drifting up a little bit mid corner. The leader's just done a 24.34. Can I get a run? I'm waiting for him to make a mistake, hopefully. Maybe I can get to his inside then. 24 hanging on back there, but we got a gap behind him. New fastest lap for Gloss, 24.25. Kind of trying to think about the tires as well. I don't know how much they're going to matter in this thing. Especially only 25 laps. Probably not much, actually. But. Thinking about it. He goes wide there. Very wide. Let's get a block, and then park it. It's pretty dumb, but I guess we survive. So he's being aggressive. I guess you can afford to be. Unofficial. Incidents don't matter. Aside from getting disqualified, I guess, and still gotta, you know follow the sporting code, but he's going to block. That's fine. If we have to use the bumper, we will. Don't want to, though. I'm going to exhaust all my other options first. But if he's going to be blocking, then uh, he writes his own contract. Yes, I don't know what that's saying. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think you can get the point. He gets what's coming to him. You see? No, we're not doing that. We're not blocking with the apron. Give you a shove if you do that. You've just done a 24.54. So, uh, he's playing dirty, I see. I guess we can kind of short track these cars, though. Since you can get into the back of them pretty good and you can catch them without much issue. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. Just got to get a nose on him somehow. Fastest lap. Fastest lap for me. Outside. Get to his outside. Still there, hold your line. Keep Still it there. third gear. I just got to keep it here. Go low. That last lap was a 24.34. He's fighting hard. He gets a pretty good run out there. Outside, clear. That's... I don't know what he expects Outside. there. Still there. You're in the middle. Three wide. Right side. Two wide. Mm -hmm. Clear outside. The next car is the leader. Go to the inside. Car outside. Bump draft a little bit because I don't want to be three wide. Interesting developments here. I don't know what he expects if he's going to go straight into the braking zone, turning in front of me. Half distance. Fuel looks good. That lap time was 24.85. Pretty fun, though. Kind of bumper car racing a little bit. 
Shift into second. Get a run. Help this guy out a little bit. The next car's the leader. Make contact. The 77 is spinning. Good riddance. Now it is up to us to try to get to the 24 again. So thankfully we avoid that. Man, I just barely in this Looked like he drove in too hard, got into the side of the purple car, and uh, it spun him around. We got feet. Go People wrecked. We've got some catching up to do with the 24. Let's see what we can do with there. People are starting to wreck all of a sudden. I guess. Do I like second gear or not? I can't tell. We're going to do session last lap. Figure out what I like in terms of second or third gear. Go high. Cars down low. Catching up to the guy, but we're running out of time. Driving it in deep, but keeping it low. P2. He's fast. Try second gear, see what that feels like. Kinda like it. Kind of allows me to drive in harder. We get a better run through. Late move. He's not phased. Didn't feel like I could slow it down enough there. Okay, don't need those. Thank you. It's not raining, actually. Appreciate the thought, though, windshield wipers. We're gonna go. We're not gonna go low here. We're gonna get a run. That lap was a twenty-four point five five. Interesting. He's blocking low. Maybe we can pass on the outside. Wouldn't that be fun? It's kind of working. Maybe not so much in one and two there. Not clear. I don't know, man. Oh, well, this would be close. I think we might have it. I think we'll have the run on the exit, potentially. Coming to my inside. Oh, I didn't shift fast enough. Ah, he got me. <laughs> Good race, man. Well done. Decent drive. There's the flag. It's over. Nice run. Solid work. That was fun. That was actually pretty good. Leave that in chat for anyone that maybe can't hear. Me too. That's fine. 
I kind of ended up on the outside. It's probably not the best place to be. I probably should. Dude, that was a bunch of fun racing with you. Probably would have been better Dude, to wait and try to get to the inside, but I kind of decided to go outside just because uh, <laughs> I want. It sounded like fun, to be honest. That's why I did it. But uh, 91, 96. We were on the right front a little bit. That could have affected our speed. We'll go ahead and check out those uh, final couple laps there. I thought for a second I'd have them. In retrospect, I was giving them plenty of room, even when I felt like I was pinching a little bit. These cars are pretty small, so maybe I could have uh, done something there. See, after this corner, I thought, like, man, maybe I have a chance here, because look at the line. I have him. I think it was a late shift that uh, cost me going from uh, second to third gear. Because again, on the back stretch, we have the advantage. And uh, it's really close. I think I just right there, I, I shift too late. And uh, <laughs> try a little bit of side draft, a little bit of bumping. See what we could do, but nah, he got it. Fair and square. That was pretty fun. That was actually pretty great. Um, kind of silly, but actually pretty fun. I'm, I'm glad I chose to do this, so... I guess we can look at the incidents, what uh, happened. Probably some good stuff, I'm sure. Some uh, comedy. Why is that so loud? Calm down, Mazdas. All right, so Planet Express on the inside of Pokemon Go. We're, go we're Pokemon going four wide. Oh my goodness. So there was a pretty big wreck early on. Wow, four guys all up into that one, but they cleared out by the time we got there. Okay, I remember now, debris all over the back stretch. So, unfortunately, they didn't get the race for too long. Here in lap five. Ooh, that's a... How did he even do that? How do you spin this car? Like that. I guess on the cold tires, I could see it. If you get on the brakes the wrong way, but... Couple guys wrecking from it. That blue and red car just not turning at all. Just drifting all the way up all the lanes like no one's there. So Lime Green's gonna go to the inside. The yellow car as he hits the wall. Some bouncing off the wall. Then the ooh, that green and orange just turns in. The guy lower and the guy below him. Ooh, that was a misshift. They shifted down right there by accident one too many times, blew the engine. That's what that was. Here's the wreck. Yeah, the 77 just didn't turn in enough. You can see he's uh, entering just too high. You know, uh, maybe this guy turns down a little bit much. I think they both just were not willing to give enough room to either guy. Because you can see, he's a little too far up probably. But he's kind of turning down at an angle where he's not going to give him very much room. So hard to even say there. But the result is the same in the end. 77 goes sideways. I think they able to navigate around him. Can the same be said about people behind because we got a whole field of cars coming oh my gosh yeah he decides he's gonna try to floor it to get out of the way and now he's just gonna keep driving into the field which is not very nice of him like that's not necessary just to drive back on track like that that's pretty terrible so not too surprising giving his blocking and stuff pretty selfish driving 18, taken out. And then what do we have here? Blue and red car. Is just going to stop in front of guys? I don't know if that was intentional or what, but like... How soft do you have to be to get upset about an unofficial race? It's freaking Mazda's at USA if you're intentionally wrecking somebody. Like... <laughs> This is like the lowest stakes thing that ever existed. 
and you're going to risk getting banned for it, sporting code still applies, so if you're intentionally wrecking people, you can't get banned for it, so don't understand that mentality. <laughs> there, bumper to bumper, oh no, the three car gets turned. That was kind of a chain of events there. I think the three car needed to be up closer to the wall. But you can't really call that on him whenever they're bouncing off of each other. Coming up to the end of it, though. Lap 21. The blue car is going again. Did that guy lag out up there? That red car. Now you see him, now you don't up there. I don't know. Here we are on lap 24. Wow, that's a big hit right there. For P4 as well. Maybe not getting as much grip as he was used to having later in the race. Since the right front does wear a bit. The 7's going to Ross Chastain it and it does not work out for him. I think you're going to try to do that. <laughs> if you really want a Ross Chastain move to work, you got to start flat with the wall. And uh, that's probably not going to work either, by the way. So... He uh, ruins his 7th place run, I imagine. Actually, he still finishes 7th place, so he must have had a big, big gap. And uh, that will do it. So, hey, that was actually pretty pretty fun. So, congrats for the 24. He ran a good race. Uh, couldn't quite get past him. Even uh, trying on the outside. 0 0.019 gap for the win. I think you'll probably see a lot of these with this combo. And uh, it, was, it was actually pretty fun, so, you know, maybe give this a try. If uh, you don't mind some unofficial racing. It was uh, not too bad, so. Obviously no I rating gains or losses or safety rating, so not really any reason to check the results page. I, I guess we will. We'll see if there's any, like, fastest lap. But uh, aside from that, that will do it for this one. We'll look at the results page. And I will say so long for now. 2109 strength of field. We got the fastest lap. Probably draft aided later as we were catching back up to the 24. But uh, that'll do it. We lead a lap. Heck yeah. <laughs> See you in the next one.